All right, it is breakfast time. Gonna head down to the cafe and I'm going to get some breakfast. So last night I got that burger, but I could not finish it. My stomach, I haven't eaten in the past several days really, much more than like a couple handfuls of food. So like, you know, your stomach shrinks when you don't eat as much, right? So, I, uh, I was only able to take like two bites of the burger. It was really sad. It was like, I know my body's hungry for nourishment, but I, uh, I just couldn't eat. But I finished the rest of the burger in the tent last night, so that was good. Now, this morning I hope to have a different, uh, a different fate. I hope to be able to eat a lot more. Ooh, this is the taco truck. I'll have to try them later too. Alright, well, the other thing is, is, oh, they have a little book, a little library thing here. It's a little library. I'll be able to... I will be able to get something to read, maybe. That'll be nice. Oh, I got my breakfast. Got my soda. And I got my huckleberry lemonade. That is good. That tastes like a summer day. Interesting, that house is down below. Girl wants to see it? Yeah. Say hello. We went to everybody's brewing. Everybody should go, it was really good. Check out the room. Nice, nice. It's cozy, as they would say. And it's, it's quotable right here, see that? Ralph Waldo Emerson. This is very nice. The shower, the shower is very nice too. That. Oh, it's a hiker's dream. Yeah, there you go, all the glaciers on it. That is Adams. Very nice. All right, you guys, it's an end of an era. I have to retire my shoes after about 800 miles. I've got fancy, fancy new ones I have to break in. But it's been a good road, right? They don't know, but they're being watched from the woods. I just got dropped off. All right. Yep. So, had an awesome resupply. Oh, look, this little mushroom here. Wow. I don't even want to touch the little moisture coming off of that. That looks like a danger, danger water source. But yep, had a great time. Got some resupply. Had some had a zero before they picked me up because I got early. Um well, you know, so much has happened. So much, and yet so little to really comment on. Anyway. Um, so my grandma and grandpa just dropped me off. They are going to meet me next week at the 20. So I have a very long time to get a short distance, essentially. So not really in a big hurry. We're the kind of person that likes to see big mile days. Looks like I'm not the guy for you, but I have this wonderful bridge to show you. Look at that. Look at this water source. Splendid. And uh, so I got new shoes. As, uh, as I was showing. That's nice. 
I got a lot of food and I've got a hill to climb because inevitably when resupply happens, hills happen. But anyway, the path from here will go around the west side of Mount Adams. So we have that to look forward to. So, I was talking with a guy at the church when I was, uh, you know, having a zero, waiting to be picked up. And that plant is a, uh, well, it was the topic of discussion, or at least one of them. It was very interesting because I've seen them and I never knew what they were because they kind of look weird. They kind of look alien, right? And he said that they are a plant that feeds off of the, the fungi in the soil. So there's pretty much a diverse, rich underlayer under the soil of fungi that kind of distributes the, the resources and the nutrients to the areas. They, they kind of cultivate the forests. And those, like plant things, are kind of like parasites and they feed off of it. So cool. So cool. Even taking those couple days off the trail, coming back right now, the silence is just deafening. amazing the difference between you know where we live in our daily lives and just the wilderness although you could ask uh, where are the birds <laughs> you know but I guess this is just a very very quiet area and look there's a road wow and there's cars so all right i i won't classify it as wilderness but i was in the woods for a minute and it was really quiet let me chalk it up to that yeah check it out remember to always look both ways Because clearly this road is used. Let's see what the sign says. Mount Adams Wilderness. There you go. Wow. All right. Are you prepared? I've never been prepared a day in my life. Oh, look, there, there I am. Right there, you see me? All right, so... I guess we'll continue. We'll go along this uh oh, okay. We'll go along there and we'll end up where we end up. We'll end up in Canada. That's where we'll go. All right, let's do this. All right. Another bridge. They really don't want you to fall off this one. Not too shabby. All right, so I stopped for a minute and I was looking at the maps. And if I go about five miles and change, there should be a really nice spot to camp. So I think that's what I'm gonna push for today. Not really a push, but that'll be six miles on a Nero day. So pretty Nero. But I'm in no hurry and 
from what I read, it is a nice view of Mount Adams. So, let's get there. One nice thing I forgot about, civilization and beds, is uh, pillows. You know, it was nice being at the hotel because I, uh, I had the chance to have four pillows all to myself, right? And I am the person who will use one pillow for the back of my head, I use another pillow to cover my face, and then the rest of the pillows I just bury myself in. So that was nice. I just got to be buried in a, in a pile of pillows. Ah, oh, man, I slept like the dead. Actually, there was a, a point in time where uh, my grandma and grandpa were like, yeah, we're gonna, you know, there's a laundromat down the street. I was like, oh, awesome. And they're like, yeah, so you could stay here if you want or you can come with and we could all get that done. I was like, yeah, I think I'll go with. And I was like, getting comfortable. I was like, no, nah, I think I'm gonna dose. And I just, they left and I knocked out. I was just under these pillows, dead to the world. So nice. Yeah, that's not really somewhere you want to stay under, right? <laughs> very, very precarious. So it looks like these are pretty fresh cuts. You can see there's sawdust on the ground. You see that the cuts look fresh. So for that, I am thankful. A bit of an uphill today would have been quite a bit harder if I had to maneuver up and over logs and things. I mean, you can hear with my breathing, which, sorry, but I'm always heavy breathing. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> whenever I'm editing my videos, I'm like, man, this is kind of, yeah, I don't, I don't like it, but it is what it is. Anyway, I'm always going up hills, always heavy breathing. And if the logs were in the way, it would just exacerbate the situation. Yep, just plucking along. Really, this is what the days look like so far. Just a lot of trees, lots and lots of green tunnel. But I assure you, because I have faith and I'm I'm promising you that there will be a Mount Adams at the end of the tunnel. I've been told that the views are coming and they're going to be spectacular. And I look forward to that. And I hope you do too. All right, as you see, we are in a burn area here. At least there was some burning. I'm not sure how uh, extensive that is because I just entered, but yeah. So, passing a bunch of southbounders all of a sudden. It looks like the water source is coming up. One of them said that there's like 15 people there because it's the last water source for a bit. So, uh, you know, and it looks like it's going to be pretty hot because <laughs> there is as much shade as you like in burn areas um let's see yes so i've mentioned before how time and space are kind of weird on trail i think I, I, i've been thinking about it and you know the the human mind is 
is a complex and lazy thing. And when you're thinking of distances, long distances, vast distances, the mind is like, you know, what's a shortcut? Not for the distance, but for thinking of the distance. So instead of thinking of, you know, the amount of space you have to cover, you kind of think of time. It's like, well, if I'm doing two miles per hour, then a tenth of a mile will take me three minutes, right? So if my destination is in 1.4 miles, it's 42 minutes of travel. So then your mind starts to think, not in miles, but in minutes. And then when the, when the going gets repetitive and things like that, the time kind of passes faster and it seems like the space passes faster because your mind lulls itself into a daze, kind of. Yeah, so I've noticed myself go into these dazes a couple times. You know, it gets so quiet, I just keep going. There's nothing that pops out. And so all of a sudden I've gone, you know, a, you know, quite a distance. I'm like, oh wow, all this time, all this space has passed. It's just interesting. Oh, butterfly. Okay, yeah, now I'm starting to get to the blowovers. Okay. <clears throat> there we are. But anyway, some food for thought. Now that I think about it, it's actually funny that I'm here because when my grandparents were dropping me off, uh, well, my grandma saw a burn area in the distance. She's like, oh, is that like a burnt section of the forest? And we're like, yeah, yeah, that's way out there. And now here I am in the burn area. I mean, look at this. Does that really look like that? It's gonna hold all of that? Nope. You know, it's areas like this. This is, it's like that one fell. But it's dangerous, really, when you think about it. These things fall. <laughs> and, and, uh, Fun fact about science is uh, when you burn something, what's left is heavier. So if you burn this, uh, this tree, you know, what's left that didn't fall off is heavier than, uh, you know, the original tree. So, yeah, yeah, if something, <laughs> something falls on you, it's, it's gonna make a, a widow. Anyway, just something to think about. These things are heavy and they're dangerous. Always be cautious. All right, I made it to the water source. Nice little flowing stream here. So I'll camel up, chill for a little bit, and then head on out in, in a bit after I've rested. It's a nice spot, right? So sometimes you can see signs of animal life and things like that, right? And then the little berries here, whatever, but look. White and gray hair fibers all throughout this tree. 
on this bush. Obviously, they're from an elderly Sasquatch. They wanted to spend its final days in peace by the water. All right, our time here has been lovely, but it's, uh, well, it's time I find my final resting place for the day. So, let's continue. All right, back on trail. So, it'll be about 90 more minutes until I get to my intended destination for the day, which, if you listen to my rant and did your calculations, you'll know that that's about three miles. So, off we go. How hollow it is. They say you can't see the forest through the trees, but I could see Mount Adams. I mean, it's not a great view, but it's there and soon, I'm sure, I'll be in a nice spot where I can see it even better. All right, that's where I came from. Checking out this big rock with these berries. Don't eat these berries, they don't look safe. And then check out Check it out, you guys. Look at this guy. Hey, how's it going? You wanna be on YouTube? I know you're shy. So I just walked up on the path and he was like in the middle. I scared him and he uh, darted into the bushes here. And I thought it was a snake at first, just how fast he moved. I was like, oh crap, what a snake. How you doing, buddy? Yeah, you're all right. I don't have any food for you, though. We're just chilling. You got anything to say? If you can tell everybody on Earth one thing, what would you tell them? Fascinating. Well, now they'll know. I'll broadcast it. This, this segment will get one billion views. Just for you. Everybody's going to share it. Yep. Have a good day. Here we go. We're getting up here, so we're starting to see a little view. Of what I passed. Let's see what's up here. More burn section. Oh, but look, how it happens. All right, we're approaching the junction. The one that I am going to use to get to my campsite for the evening. Where supposedly there's a splendid view of Mount Adams. Around the mountain trail. There you go.
It looks like that tree has a blank sign. Oh wait, no, it's just very worn. What does it say? Let's see. Other people have worn a path to go see what it says. Round the mountain trail, number nine. All right. Oh, sorry. Let me try to adjust here. There, now you can see too. Right on. All right, so let's continue here and find our campsite. Guys, check it out. It's an emergency water source. The water's pretty murky, but if uh, you run out of water, well, it'll work in a pinch. Check that out. That is a good view of Adams. Oh boy, let's let's check it. Okay, I think the campsite's over here. So let's. Yeah, the footprints are leading me this way. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. So if I go over here. Yeah, check that out. Yeah, look, there's an arrow on the ground. Oh, okay, yeah, look at that meadow. Oh, that's nice. What a view. All right, ladies and gentlemen, got my camp set up. You know, hardship is not without its rewards, right? I mean, I'm not saying today was particularly hard, but it's not easy to wander through the wilderness. There we go. That's the shot right there. The tent in the foreground, Mount Adams in the background. Big Agnes, I'm applying for a marketing position. So here I am, eating my dinner, staring at the wonder that is Mount Adams. And I see the Pac-Man face. Yeah, you can never, ever escape the hidden Pac-Man. They'll always find you. Or, if you're a Stephen King fan, maybe it's on Langolier. But they're here. Devouring the moment. Oh, is that like a face there? Do you see the face there? Oh, not as much. Definitely the Pac-Man. Glacial Pac-Man.